Administrator Nelson, uh, given the amount of work that remains to be done with test flights and developing and testing a lander and space suits, what do you see as the largest technical threat to landing our astronauts on the moon by 2025? First of all, uh, you all have uh, helped us so that that landing will occur because uh, there have been indications and we hope that you will consider favorably the president's request to start competition in a human lander. Now, as it turned out, uh, the first competition, uh, NASA simply did not have enough money to award for two landers. And uh, by far the most economical of the three uh, uh, competitors was the one that was given the nod uh, SpaceX for uh, the first landing. That's a done contract. What we wanted to do and what you all, the Congress, uh, have made particularly clear to me through hearings all last year, and I happen to agree with you, is that you wanted competition for the ultimate lander. So. On the basis of that, we have started the initial process, and if you deem it wise in giving us the appropriations, which the President has requested, then we will have a simultaneous competition excluding SpaceX, because they already have that under procurement law and can't participate in the next competition. The winner of that competition would have the opportunity as SpaceX to land an uncrewed lander first and then do the crewed landing. They would have that opportunity. And then we would have two landers somewhere in the 2027 time frame, having both have already landed to make the ultimate choice of the lander that would last uh, for some period of time as the lander on the moon. Uh, that is a decision that you will have to make in this president's request. And uh, I believe that uh, that is the plan that can bring us all the value of competition. You get it done with that competitive spirit, you get it done cheaper, and that allows us to move away from what has been a plague on us in the past, which is a cost plus contract and move to a, a, uh, an existing uh, contractual price.